Hi, and welcome to the uh, Cine Film Factory. Um, this is the first uh, tutorial video which um, we intend to upload uh, for our viewers to see. Um, and today we want to talk to you about deterioration of uh, 8mm film in particular, which is what we've got across here. Um, this is an order which has um, been received in, in the last few days uh, to our studio. Um, this has come from a customer um, who uh, has inherited a film collection of 8mm film. Uh, upon managing to open up the, this, the, the cans, um, he's found that there's been uh, obviously some serious, if you can see that, uh, some serious um, degradation and mould and bacteria that's built up over the years, uh, over the many, many years. I mean, the, all this film collection from the titles that seem to be dated are from uh, around the 1930s period. And um, he sent these films in because uh, he's obviously seen the work that we've done in the past to uh, obviously get these cleaned and transferred. Um, of course we've got the films uh, all spread out today uh, in an outside environment obviously uh, the, the penicillin that's, that's quite evident certainly on the reel that we've just shown you um, obviously we don't want to be breathing that in um, in an indoor environment um, and especially with the, the micro particles that will disperse obviously once the, the cleaning procedure starts to take place, it's better to do it in, a, in an outside environment and uh, obviously get rid of the micro particles and um, obviously get ready to, uh, to to get them clean. So what, what we're doing in this first instance, we want to demonstrate to people that if you find, you know, if you inherit or you, you find you have a piece of film or film collection as this one um, has, uh, if you find that they're in a condition like this uh, don't throw them away. Is the is the is the core 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 area here? Um, things we can transfer them. Uh, takes a little bit more time than the standard transfer, um, but it's it's no no issue at all. Um, these will be uh, this will all be now blown off, or blown away, and then it will go through um, a film cleaning process, which. Um, puts oils, all the, all the oils that, that obviously the original film would have benefited from back in the, the 30s, uh, back into the film and then obviously removes the, uh, the mould and mildew and penicillin that, that's been built up. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll now carry on with the cleaning process and then, um, and then once that's taken place we'll, we'll lay them out and um, show you what they look like after. So this is everything pre the transfer of the film. This customer order in particular, um, once the, the deep cleaning process has taken place, will um, be um, will then of course be transferred um, using our, our transfer systems. Um, and this particular customer order is uh, he, he's required them to go on to uh, individual MPEG video files and then transferred over to a secure USB flash media uh, memory disk and, um, and then obviously once that's all done the customer order is complete ships out to the customer uh, this particular instance for nostalgia purposes he'd like the original films back to show grandchildren how film used to be um, and then be able to show them of course you know the, the digital MPEG video files from there I, I believe that um, He's going to obviously, once they're transferred, he's got them as individual MPEG video files on his PC. He will then edit through um, the scenes that are now legible again. Obviously, once we've uh, once we've worked our magic on them, so um, we'll continue with the, the the cleaning process now and come back to you. Obviously, once we've uh, once we've done that, so you can see the results, the stage results from now as we've just received them to obviously what we've done after. Um, and then, then you can see all the clean reels and how the films, you know, uh, will come back. Okay, uh, thank you for watching and um, we'll be back to you um, when, uh, when we're at the next stage process. Hello again, this is uh, part two 
of um, the restoration that we've been carrying out here at the Cinefilm Factory of um, the, the reels which we saw a little bit earlier. Um, as you can see now, these, uh, these look uh, slightly different. These have been uh, now, if you can see clearly there, uh, contrast to obviously the, the penicillin is now removed, all the uh, mould and mildew that's uh, unfortunately been built up over the years has now gone um, and these are now ready for transfer. Um, they've been, uh, we've had to use an airline which obviously removes, um, high pressure airline which, which obviously removes a lot of the um, the particles, the, the penicillin particles, blows them away. Then each film is then goes through a process where it's uh, stripped off, uh, stripped off the original reel, put onto a new reel. Um, obviously, then we can check for any breaks. Uh, obviously, these are five-inch, two-hundred-foot reels, so these uh, these are combined of the three-inch, fifty-foot reels. So there's four of those onto one of these. And these would have been what we call spliced with splicing cement back in the day. Um, and that will, um, sometimes the splicing cement, you know, bearing in mind these films are from the 1930s, uh, is when they were originally put together. So, you know, it's many, many years to expect splicing cement to, to, hold, to hold the 50 foot segments together to make the 200 foot. But with these ones in particular, even though they were in quite poor condition, degradation was showing quite clearly as we've already seen. Um, the, the, the splicing cement was nicely preserved and um, I think there was only one reel that actually had a break in it. So, it's, it, I mean, that, that sort of thing isn't a problem, but the, that's something that we can identify during this process. Um, obviously that would affect the transfer. Um, so. We haven't had that problem here, um, so but had had we, but then we can just re-splice the splice the film back in back in together again, ready for the transfer. So these are all now prepped um, and ready for the next stage, and the next stage is the the digital transfer. Um, and then once that process is done, then the editing takes place, and then the um, and then the digital file conversion, uh, which is specified for the particular customer, he wants MPEG video files, uh, to so that he can obviously look through this little lot um, on his Windows PC. So um, yeah, hopefully that's given you an insight today into what we do here, what we can do here. Uh, hopefully you'll agree that the reels are a complete transformation, um, and they're they're ready ready to go through the next stage. Uh, thank you for watching and um, we, we've got some more videos um, to do with obviously the, our transfer process and uh, what, what we can do uh, which we're going to be making over the next coming weeks so be sure to subscribe and um, keep an eye keep an eye on what we're up to um, and we, 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 up, we um, upload photos to um, our Twitter feed as well and our Facebook profile uh, of different projects that we're working on um, and our, all of those live feeds are accessible on our website which is www.cinefilmfactory.co.uk Thanks for watching and um, we'll see you when we make our next video. Thank you, bye bye.